I like to think I'm a saver. I think I'm definitely a saver. Sometimes I like to treat myself, but the majority of the time I definitely like to save my money. I think I'm more of a spender. But like most people, I'm probably more of a spender. My first ever paycheck was eight pounds. 20 quid. I was obsessed with buying a pair of decks. I spent that eight pounds. It was like Tracy Beaker magazines. Oh, you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> my school dinner money. I bought penny sweets, like just loads of penny sweets. I saved, 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 and I actually managed to get it. <laughs> you can enjoy life, but make sure you've got enough for a rainy day, as they call it. Grandad actually taught me about money. When I was younger, money was something that wasn't abundant in my family. I didn't start with much, but then kind of had everything he wanted. If I could tell my teenage self one thing about money, it would be that it does not grow on trees or fields or magical forests. So I would definitely tell myself not to spend it on edible things. I sound like my mum when I say this. <laughs> my biggest money mistake is not associating the numbers you see when you're shopping on the internet with real life cash. I kind of try to not um, pay too much by cars. As an athlete, you never kind of know when your last day on the track is going to be. Tomorrow's a different day and things can change. If you know what you have and what you're spending um, is a really important thing. But when the money did start to come in, we invested back into the business. I've met a lot of artists who have blown all their money. I would have loved for there to have been a rule book. I would have loved for there to have been a guide or someone to actually say to me, this is the way to do it. If you do one thing today, make sure that you check out Money for Life. Money for Life with UK Money for Life. I recommend it. <laughs>